welcome back to Gamer Gal Pals, where this fucker won't stop talking! Sergey, for not saying much uh, toward the beginning of the game, says way too much at the end of the game. <laughs> He's making up for lost time! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> anyway, uh. I'm here with, obviously, Hillary, and Pia's still here, too. She's just- Yeah. Kidding. Still <laughs> just not feeling too hot, but that's yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. I- I can't believe it. I'm sure we would have heard of something like that. Not if your memory of it was erased! Captain Mira, I've already told you. There are some things not even Class S commanders have been told. How do we know you didn't make up the whole story? I read that line wrong, but got the gist of it. I suppose you have no evidence, except the one Except that one of devices still exists to this very day. <gasps> that, was dun, best... dun. <laughs> that was my best dramatic gasp. How was that? <laughs> 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 really? Where is it? I got it! Harry? You do? It's at the lab! The Custom Robo Research Lab! That's why Z Syndicate was there! You're right! You're the man, Harry! <laughs> no, it's not at the lab. Shut down! <laughs> oh, poor Harry! <laughs> I thought so. Harry's not that smart. There's no way he could have figured it out before me. I wow! Love that. This is the only fucking portrait of... of uh, Roy, that's like that. <laughs> like, they waited until that long? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Harry. So where is it? Gary Sue Hart. I yes? Your father's watch. That's the device. It can erase people's memories. You've had it all along. Oh my god! I am so shocked! Wait! Harry clearly is, though. Harry Suhart's watch? That's why Z's leader said something about defeating Rahu with Gary Suhart's watch. I see. The device that was used to defeat Rahu was the one that could erase people's memories. Yes. Hundreds of years ago, that very device helped us defeat Rahu. You know, I was thinking to myself, it can't be the watch, that'd be too stupid. <laughs> you clearly overestimated this game, Pia. I did. <laughs> Sergey, why does Carrie Suhart have it? How did something like that wind up with him? Uh, maybe it's because Z Syndicate's leader is Harry Sue's fucking dad. Oh, right. <laughs> what was Gary Suhart's father like? He was a distinguished scientist, one of the highest ranking officials in the government. That is why he was told the truth. We all live with false memories implanted by the government. This is some real big conspiracy shit right here. Like, this is <laughs> on top of the lizard man and, uh, certain presidents responsible for horrific, tragic events. Like, this is... Add this on top of all of that shit. Like, I mean, fuck, man. This, this is some grade-A dumb shit. <laughs> when he learned that people had been deprived of the truth for so long, he began to have doubts. He questioned the ethics of the plan, and... He knew that Rahu would rise once again. Marcia, my leader told me where your power came from. It is a result of the erasure, a side effect. Wait, so her power was a side effect of the memories being wiped? I yeah, fucking... Uh, huh. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right now, every aspect of the brain's development is controlled. The side effect was unexpected. 
nobody realized that the dramatic change in environment and the memory blocks and implants would generate this effect. No one could explain what exactly created Marcia's power. Marcia, your power is born from the tragedies, from the tragedy humans suffered hundreds of years ago. <laughs> oh, now it's Aven again. Uh, wait, oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the subject. You said Gary Sue's part heart's father had doubts about the false memories? Was he the only one in the government who felt that way? He must have been something. He was. He stole the only remaining model of the memory erasure device. He escaped to the outside world with several of his colleagues. I'm sure the government must have been quick to send someone after them. Yes, the government's soldiers had one goal to retrieve the memory erasure device. They searched all over the outside world for him, but he was always one step ahead. Super anime, Instead Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Instead of taking the device with him into exile, he hid it inside the domed city itself. I read that as doomed. Like, I keep reading that as the doomed city. <laughs> it might as well fucking be. <laughs> it might as well be. He reconfigured it into that watch so that no one would be able to identify it. And then he gave the watch to Gary Suhart. The ten-year-old who could totally protect it and was totally responsible with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to the one person he could trust. Someone he who didn't know the power of the object he held. And that's when your leader formed the Z Syndicate. And all this time, the Z Syndicate's goal has actually been to inform the people of the truth. It was, at first. We wanted people to know the truth, to prepare themselves in case Rahu did attack again. But as time passed, he began to worry, to doubt himself. He began to worry that informing everyone of the truth would only trigger a mass panic. He realized that it might be best to find a way to stop Rahu without having the people know about it. That was the moment when my leader formed a syndicate made up of the strongest fighters. Strong fighters? And that's when he recruited you? I wanted to save this ruined world. In order to do that, I knew I would have to help him. He told me he needed someone to support him, no matter how insane his orders might seem. But you could have told Marcia before you left. You owed her at least that much, didn't you? To be honest, I had planned on leaving Marcia before I had met your father. Wow! One, not only is that a dick move, but two, if you take this completely out of context, this has a completely different meaning. <laughs> I'm saving that. I'm Marcia saving that as a screenshot. <laughs> it's just not working. <laughs> wow. It was never meant to be. This is almost... Oh my god, so, okay. In, in the Skype chat today... We were just told about this dating sim they're coming out with called Dream Daddy, which is made by the same people who made Honey Pop, and it's featuring the cast of the Game Grumps as voice actors. This alone reminded me of that. Jesus. <laughs> You're one sexy daddy? Get on with the other sexy daddies. That <laughs> circus thing, he's into sexy daddies. Oh my god. He was one sexy daddy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. Such a sexy daddy. <laughs> I feel so bad for messing this up so badly. <laughs> I wanted to just <laughs> hold him in my arms. <laughs> I, I followed every... I followed every order, no matter how insane it was. His breath was all <laughs> <laughs> and the fanfiction continues. 
My precious. Oh! Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. I oh, grossed myself I need to take a shower. out. I need to take a shower now. I feel dirty just doing that. <laughs> god, I felt the air on that pee. Oh. Okay, anyway, let's go back to more innocent things, okay? Hold me, daddy, try. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I promise I'll stop. <laughs> He's wearing the mask to hide the shame of his actions. <laughs> My sister would do anything I told her if I'd stay. You, you, you're really I'm far away, Hillary. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There you go. My sister would have done anything I told her if I stayed. She would never have left my shadow. It was unacceptable. Honestly. You're still kind of far away. I can't do anything about it! Why? Because the microphone is, like, on my laptop, and I am literally leaning forward in order to talk into it in Sergey's voice. I can barely see the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. It is very difficult. I'm trying my best. Okay, there we go. Uh, my butt is in the air. Alright, uh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> it was unacceptable, unthinkable. I wanted her to think for herself, to grow into the commander she is. I thought that if I weren't around, she would have the opportunity she needed to think for herself. That's why I left the way I did. I understand the reasoning, but it's still kind of a dick move. Yeah, you're kind of an asshole, Sergey. Sorry <laughs> to say that. Ugh. But I always watched over her. I would have come to her aid in the second she was ever in danger. Sergey, more like poopay. <laughs> I <Yeah>. left. <laughs> Even though I knew I ran the risk of alienating her. Of making her hate me for leaving her. Sasuke? <laughs> Sergey, I've learned something. My partners taught me something more valuable than I realized. Spoiling someone isn't love. Sometimes you need to be strict in order to be compassionate. Like Harry yelling at her about how lazy she is about not fighting for her battles. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> That's why I... That's when I figured it out. That's why I knew that my older brother still cared about me. That he still loved me. And I wondered if that wasn't why you left me in the first place. They helped me to understand. And that's why I still love you. Aww. And, that's why, and that's why at the very end, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'll strangle you in your sleep. <laughs> How has no fairy like a woman scorn? I'm sorry to repeat that. I'll strangle you with that mask you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Marcia has now become the Yandere. Oh god. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Thank you, Sergey. Go. You've grown. So strong, Marcia. He should lift like five cars. <laughs> <laughs> the more I hear about this, the more complicated the situation gets. Amen. I agree. Still, that was fucking cute as shit, man. <laughs> also, have we not commented on how gigantic Harry's hands are? Yeah, when you, you, you when you're kind of like holding them up to your face, you start to realize how the proportions are kind of off. Yeah, God, it's almost like he's hands, sonic. My those are yaoi hands. Is yeah. there something you're not telling us? <laughs> they are either yaoi hands or sonic hands, or both of your ends of that kind of thing. <laughs> After healing all of that, it sounds like Z formed in order to help out mankind. But what about a burrow? He wanted Rahu for himself! When our leader grew ill, 
Aboro and Eliza made a grand for power. That's when it began to crumble. The more they knew about Rahu's amazing powers, the more they wanted to possess it. They forgotten our leader's goals. They planned such foolishness as diving into Rahu. Uh, I guess there's always one selfish sicko in every group. That would be Gary Sue. <laughs> <laughs> who dooms the yeah. entire world because he's a fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> fucking run away. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I acted as a Bora subordinate while looking for the chance to strike back. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but wait, why was Eliza at the lab? Did he have something to do with Rahu? Aboro and Eliza both knew the memory erasure device was the key to destroying Rahu. But they didn't know our leader already had stolen it. He was never sure he could trust them. And boy, was he right about that. <laughs> They wanted that device so they could tame Rahu for their own ends instead of destroying it. Eliza must have thought that the Custom Robo Research Lab would have the device. Okay. That is why she attacked the lab. See? Just as I thought! Eliza thought the device was in the research lab! I am smart! I, I think just like the Z-C the kids leaders! Which simply shows how flawed her thinking truly is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Roy's, Roy's remarks, they're burning, they're hot to the touch! <laughs> they're almost as bad as mine! <laughs> they're almost as bad as Wendy's! Oh god, Wendy's! Oh my god. They're almost as bad as Sherry's! The, oh only the only difference between Roy and Wendy is that Wendy actually has something worthwhile to give. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Boy just like starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Gary Sue's face, but instead it's Roy's. <laughs> like, that whole crying anime cry, except it's Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, and Harry's not amused. <laughs> oh, God, finally! <laughs> We've spoken long enough. Gary Sue, may I borrow your walk? If it'll make you stop talking! I have a chip your father gave me. I'm going to insert it into your watch now. Once I've inserted the chip... Uh, hold on. Uh, I've lost my place. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Once I've inserted the chip, the watch's memory erasure functions will be restored. I can't... <laughs> no, we're gonna, we're gonna get up to him. I understand. We'll give you my watch. Thank you. Please wait while I insert the chip. This ain't gonna take a whole nother episode, will it? Uh, hopefully <laughs> not. I've inserted the chip into your watch. The memory erasure device is now functional. Gary Sue Hart, I believe this is still yours. Your father put it in your hands for a reason. Point toward, uh, point towards your t okay. Uh, that was a weird sentence. I'm sorry. Did he develop a British accent? Point it toward your target. And <laughs> <laughs> point towards your target and activate it. I understand. We're almost near the end. Let's go destroy Rahu. Finally! Do you know where to find it? I've attached a tracking device to Rahu. 
if it's transmitting, we'll know where Rahu is. How convenient! Let's hurry. With every passing second, Rahu continues to evolve. It's still evolving? Oh god, more oh, talking! Please, please stop! stop! Ah! Like I said before, Rahu evolves. Rahu is specifically drawn to negative feelings. Hatred. Greed. Envy. Lust. Well, okay. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he is recoiling in the background. <laughs> that was so close to the mic, woman! Dear God, I'm getting ASMR! <laughs> Sorry, I have to be close in order to do Sergei's motherfucking <laughs> voice. <laughs> it absorbs that mental energy, uses it to fuel its metamorphosis. Okay, thank you for using the correct term. I'm happy with this. So that's why it looked different every time we've seen it. It's not just its appearance that's changing. It's growing stronger with each evolution. The device will erase Ma Rahu's genetic memory, so it will stop evolving. I fear that Rahu is resting now, preparing for its next evolution. I hope it turns into a Charizard! <laughs> we can defeat it if we erase its memory and eliminate its advantage. Let's go! Yay! Oh, fuck, man, I can actually sit up! Oh, god! Okay, we're, we're calling it off here! This is the final exposition episode! Thank you for sticking with us this long, cause oh my god! My neck hurts, my back hurts, my arms hurt, my legs hurt! Ow! Yeah, this was so bad last time. This is actually a new recording session, and we're still heavily exhausted by all that fucking exposition. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <coughs> ah, I give you many kisses. Kiss each other. Okay. You ground the pleasure. I literally just rolled over on the floor, just going. Uh, She's just writhing in pain. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of in pain. I need a minute. Yeah, okay. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye! Bye.